having fun here. Yes. yes. It is the NRW crew. I am Glenn Lawrence, joined by our Capitan, uh, Patrick Michael Strange, and the beautiful CC. The geek, Greek geek, is it? Because you change it. It's I'm the still geek. Greek, but my yeah. handle is the, the geek. Cece the geek. Yeah. Cece the geek. Oh, but yeah. she's also Greek too. Yeah. But anyways, we are super happy <laughs> to be here, bringing you all the best in news from around the world of entertainment True. Uh, and pop culture. But this is probably the easiest week of all, though. I don't even I mean, know why we're doing everything else. It's yeah. all centered over on one thing this week. This That's true. one. Thing this week, um, and that is the release of the Mueller report. No, I'm just kidding. That's, that's, that's can we get the, we get the, 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 the redacted the, version? Yeah. The redacted that is not version. what it is. You know, <laughs> I'm sorry, I derailed. Seriously. Of course, what we're talking about is. He doesn't want to give me up because I'll get fucking drunk. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I, sh- I, like I shouldn't it. even went there. Yeah. But uh, Avengers Endgame is coming out this week, and we're going to be talking a lot. We're talking about the purple motherfucker. About it. Right. We're going right. to be talking about Thanos, the purple motherfucker, mother. instead of the orange <laughs> motherfucker. <It's> <laughs> but um, but there's a lot of things for us to get to, you know. So um, we could start it out with oh. Avengers Endgame, or we could end it with Avengers Endgame. You know what? We'll save the good for. Yeah, we'll, we'll, get good the for rest out, we'll get the rest. We'll get the work out the way. The yeah. business. And then we'll, we'll, we'll have fun. With Let's get the business, business into this pop culture. All right, yo. <laughs> I've got two Blu-ray DVD digital copies coming out uh, at your local Best Buy or Target or wherever you shop at. Um, Escape Room. It's a Ooh. horror film. Six strangers find themselves in a maze of deadly mystery rooms and must use their wits to survive. Um, I don't know who all these people are that are behind it. Um, I've never done an escape room. Before. I've done, I've done one. Have I you? was dope at it. I, I yeah. helped us. I helped us get out of there. I you was did. one of the key contributors to us being able. to So I need to have you with me when I actually do one. I yes. want to do one. That, I, I feel like it was a fluke. Though. I'm like, I feel like I was smart in that escape room, but in another <laughs> escape room, no. I could have been totally. If useless. it's a saw type scenario, <laughs> yeah. I was just thinking it kind of reminds me of the first yeah. saw. I love yeah. saw. Yeah. I love really saw films. Yeah. Have you ever wanted to do an escape room? No, my <laughs> anxiety will not allow me to do that. I'm like no. I've had more than enough. I don't know. I was saying there we should do like ones, a like team building well, session with NRW yeah. with the squad. Have Marianne Ooh. have the have the whole squad in there. And I'd review what happened. Escape room. As long as we can yeah, bring snacks. Okay. If you demand it, let us know in the comments. I feel like yes. I feel like you don't want snacks because then you have no incentive to leave. You're just like, I'm just going to eat these snacks until the guy lets me out. But you need the brain power. Mm, I guess. I mean, I don't true. know. That's true. Maybe some pistachios. Hungry pistachios. <laughs> we can do it. I want to do it. Anyway, get your get sights on escape rooms. Watch out this horror film. If you're all about the escape room and you wanted to kind of see it taken in a horror bent. Um, I'm intrigued. I like the concepts. I can see that working. Mm-hmm. Although it really is Saw. For mm, real. Right. For real, for real. <laughs> so anyway, um, another great film coming out this week. Um, and actually from being written by a friend of mine on Facebook, uh, my man, Kurt Belcher. He wrote the graphic novel that this was based Whoa. on that now translated film. So shout out to Kurt. Uh, Peter Cotton. Peter Cottontail, uh, a scientist that works on rabbits and infertility, learns that the military wishes to use his work to create superhuman soldiers. How dare they? Cotton is bitten by an experimental mutant rabbit and changes into the evil Rotten Tail. Rotten Tail. Or is he the good guy? Or is he, he just. It says loses? he's evil. Okay. Um, I didn't read the book, sorry, Kurt, but uh, happy for him that it's translated. So, a, a cool horror, but instead of going to be a good guy, he turned into a bad guy. Yeah. Mm. Kind of a cool twist on the Peter Cottontail thing and yeah. the evil rabbits. I know, like I, it's an ugly looking evil motherfucker. Like the thing that is crazy. seeing the poster right now on the screen, it, he's an ugly looking motherfucker. The thing that is crazy to me, I feel like everything is being perverted. It's just like Mary had a little lamb, but what if she was a killer? <laughs> <laughs> Peter Cottontail is now a rotten tail. Yeah. yeah. It sounds hey. dope, but that's what I have. Uh, what do we have? Uh, CC and theaters. Okay. Oh wait, wait. Oh no, yes. no, oh, no. no, no. Oh, yeah, we're saving it. We're gonna save theaters. Oh yeah. Last. Last. Okay. So we're gonna talk. What about are we doing this weekend, Glenn? This weekend. What am I doing? Uh, so <laughs> if, you're in, if you're in New Jersey, if you're at Rutgers University, you have Camden Comic Con. That okay. seems like that's going on. That's gonna be really fun. Mm-hmm. You also have the Old School Comic Show, which is going to be happening in an undisclosed area, but it's happening on the seventh. It is happening. I threw it on the screen. You see it there. Yeah, there right is. there. Check it out. Chicago has a toy show, which is happening on Sunday, Ooh. April uh, 28th, and that's in its 45th year, so that's been happening oh. for a long time, Respect. which is kind of cool. Like, I wonder what kind of yeah. toys they have from, yeah. like, way back when, I you like know? That. 
So, so that's kind of cool. Um, and then the big thing, of course, is Awesome Con is happening this weekend. Um, if you want to go out to that, you can see some of our illustrious NRW crew members <laughs> in their awesome panels. Uh, HBCU nerds. Um, what was the? What's the? It's a. It's, it's a. a it's a different world. It's a different world. It's a different world. Oh, man. Hey. Which changed the world. That show actually changed the world. But yes. we're gonna be it's a different world, and we're going to be talking about the HBCU nerds and how they affect pop culture and all that they do. Beautiful CC the Geek is going to be there um, facilitating, correct? Yeah, I'll be hosting it, I guess you could say. Facilitating. Oh, that's the word shoot. you want to use. You want to be fancy. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm fancy with it. You're fancy. I'm fancy. <laughs> you get fancy. Um, and if that, and if you like that panel, you could get a little bit more of the NRW panels, uh, checking out, um, Diversity or Death with, uh, Patrick Michael Strange here. Hey. Um, he's going to be, uh, facilitating that one. Will you be facilitating I will be, one? uh, one of the guests, uh, with my man, Jeremy Whitley, the writer oh, on yeah. Rainbow Bright, on Woo. Unstoppable Wasp, on Prince List. Dope ass writer. He's killing the game. And then I forgot who the rest of my... Uh, fellow panelists are. I was just invited by Jeremy to kill it. Hey man, let's talk cool. about diversity and why diversity or death wise is so important. We need representation. We people. definitely need representation. But Awesome Con is going to be happening, so you're going to get all your cosplay, all your uh, your writers, your anchors, your illustrator. All those people are going to be down there checking it out. There's going to be all kinds of different booths there. Awesome Con is in its what like fifth year, sixth yes, year, seventh year, something like that. Yeah, so it's a, it's. I've it's, done them all. I don't know how many. It's, <laughs> it's been going on for a while now, and it's getting it. bigger and bigger every year. Yeah. There's yes. also going to be an amazing film festival run by Oh, you know, no, 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 Joe Carabao, yeah, Joe Carabao. Um, All weekend. Yeah, my film did not get into it, Joe. Um, I talked to you about that. <laughs> so but funny. it's all it's all good. It was it was because it was Shade. a long run, run time. Like, Shade to it went, It was 20 minutes. The, the Too limit long, for film was long. 15 minutes. Uh, but anyway, so that's happening. Oh, and if, Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Speaking of overachieving, if none of that is tickles your fancy, you can come out to my comedy show, which hey! is happening at the Do Drop In, Level Up Laughs. I will be telling jokes. You can get some of these Avenger jokes. I had them Friday? laughing. That's Friday <laughs> yeah. night at 8 o'clock at the Do Drop In in Northeast D.C. Get that so, funny for his, with your get money. Get that funny you for your money. Yeah. Yeah. I know, but she was laughing. You were laughing, right? I was laughing. Look, it's see, true. She was like, ha <laughs> ha, that's funny. That's how she laughs. That's not <laughs> how I laugh. Like, She's like, ah, that's funny. <laughs> Watch, go to the panel. That's how she's going to be saying. She's like, ah, that's funny. No. Anyway. Um, so anyhow, that is what is happening in events. Now, let's get to what we want to be talking about. <laughs> yes. Tonight. So, we'll work our way down to the moment of truth. There we go. So, the two movies that are coming out this weekend, which you probably won't see for another week or two. Or what? But, no but if they didn't buy their ticket. Yes, that's tickets true. Tickets were sold out. That's so these true. are probably what they're watching. <laughs> and yeah. They didn't get the salty ticket. watching these movies <laughs> while everyone else is watching the movie you do want to see. Mm. But coming out this week, we have The White Crow, mm. which is a biography drama, the story of Rudolf Nuri. I don't know how to say his last name. Nuriyevs. Nuriyevs. <laughs> sorry, I needed a moment to digest it. <laughs> so okay. not, whatever. And then we have Be Natural, the untold story of Alice Guy Blanche. Yeah. So okay. I feel like Ralph Fiennes is always going back to like that period era. pieces. Yeah, he's like yeah. period. He loves it's doing true. period pieces based on like World War Two and it's true. and and all that stuff. Who is Alice Guy Blanche? Oh, a filmmaker. Yeah, mm. she was a filmmaker, and it looks okay. like. It looks like they're in the movie. She faded from memory. Whoa. I know, right? But yeah. So then. Yes. We have the moment of truth, y'all. Avengers Endgame is coming out one Thursday. And then. Can't believe it's here. No, I just I can't. I I'm cannot so believe it's already here. Seriously, <laughs> I don't even, that's it seems I'm like, like Infinity War was yesterday. <laughs> right. I'm sure if I was like really tracking and I wasn't so busy, I'd be like, man, like fucking, it's about time. But goddamn, it just seems like we just got done with Infinity War. Seriously. But not even that, but just the ten year span oh. um, of yeah. Marvel films seems because, like yesterday. Right. Man. Right. It seemed yes. It's, so, yesterday, I was so hyped um, for Avengers, like I couldn't sleep. I really wanted to go see it, and now yeah. it's like. Ten years later, all these other movies later, all this other happening, and all these characters that build up connected to yes, 
You know what I mean? It's it's crazy what they've been able to do, and it seems like now this is going to be a passing of the torch yeah. um, to the new Marvel characters, yeah. Um, yeah. Avengers, to carry on uh, the story. But I think it's amazing what they've done to have that many yeah. characters, that yeah. many personalities come together to create a tapestry like this mm-hmm. yeah. is pretty amazing. And, and to not have any, like, crazy happenings aside from the you know the one like the Hulk changing or whatever like you've had pretty much continuity in the character so you've been able to grow and connect with these characters yeah as as actual people you know what I mean and that I think that's amazing you just don't you just never have seen anything like that like a 10 year run of a universe come together in such a way that no matter what happens I feel like we will feel like it is a successful yeah. end to what Marvel has created. Yeah. Okay. And they started from a studio that could have failed with mm. their first movie. They like Iron Man could have failed and that would have been the end of Marvel Studios. Yeah. But I want to shout out cuz it wasn't really 10 years, 20 years ago last year mm-hmm. was Blade. Yeah, that's Blade. The, the unsung hero. Of, yeah, it broke all kinds of records. Mm. It was a Marvel film. It's a Marvel right. um story. So um, I think that that really played a tremendous role in the mm-hmm. fact that, you know, all those yeah. other subsequent films came out and did as well as they did. Yeah. The success um, of Blade and the X-Men films. All, well, yes. All, no, no, no. Well, those well, other films that get made because Blade showed that a comic book movie could yes. be viable in the marketplace. So all those other mm-hmm. f- movies got made because of Blade, mm-hmm. yeah, which is amazing to see that a uh, property like that. Shout out to Wesley Snipes, the real... That's the real deal right there. I can't yeah. wait to see Wesley uh, get back into something. I don't know what yeah. he's going to be. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I'm, since I'm directing movies now, maybe I should try to put hey. it on You know what I'm saying? You like, and, and see what happens. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I'm putting that into the universe. I'm going to work with Wesley Snipes. I'm going to direct a movie that Wesley Snipes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's going to happen. Anyways, we're getting off track. We are. Blade started and this whole ball rolling. Yes. And now we're 20 years later. And it takes me back to Spawn, but that's neither here nor there. Because that's <laughs> Image well, property. Because that yes. came out, right. That came yeah. out the year before. And that was when people were like, eh, maybe we shouldn't do these comic book movies. Right. And then Blade <laughs> came out. I was like, no, we should do them. So yeah. and then, Blade was shocking though. Like, here's the thing about Blade. All right, just to go back. Real quick. Sorry, I'm not done with one. Got you going. Brought it up. But here's the thing about Blade. I did not think that it was going to be as good as it was, and it blew me away. I was surprised at how good it was, and I think oh, yeah, a lot so of that goes to Wesley Snipes. So big up Wesley. You get some of this Avengers Endgame love, bro. All right. I want to put a challenge on real quick since we did bring that up. Mm-hmm. We should do. I haven't seen it in a minute. We should do a follow up review of Blade, see if it holds up for so long since, yeah, you know, since it first came out. Yeah. So, challenging the rest of the NRW crew, stay tuned to the channel. You'll get our follow up review if I can get these guys wrestled in here to watch that film Rassle. and follow up. He on wants it. to wrestle. Wrestle. And don't forget, we're going to be at the Alamo this Thursday. We're watching, I'm about to say Blade, we're watching Endgame at the Alamo. And yeah, Crossplay is going to be there. We're doing a review oh, yeah. of Endgame. Mm. So, so yeah, it's going to be a great Good event, so. uh, both at Ashburn, uh, Loudoun, yeah. as well as Woodbridge. So stay tuned for that. It's going to be yeah. a cool time. Um, it's going to be good. Yeah. And then we're going to cover it up and uh, follow that up. But before yeah. we sign off on here, I, I have two key questions. Let's do it. What was your favorite film from then till now? Mm. And then, actually, let's do that. And then I have a uh, 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 last question. As of that. So favorite film of all the films thus far leading up to in- Endgame? I will try to do this very quickly. Um, I don't think that anything could beat the energy and happiness that I felt from watching the first Avengers film. I thought they knocked out of the park. I love that. Okay. Um, however, I, I've loved all Marvel movies. For some reason, I am I very much have an affinity for Spider-Man Homecoming. I really enjoy mm-hmm. that. Obviously, Black Panther is like up okay. there for yeah. a, a variety of reasons. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But in terms of this Marvel universe, Spider Home, Spider-Man Homecoming and Civil War... Are my mm. so I, it's hard for me to that's pick, funny, pick like, one. You're, you're five. Yeah, okay. so those are like those are the ones that I would pick. Yeah, right. CC. I feel the same. Um, I feel the same. I love. I, well, first of all, I love the Iron Man series too. I just okay. love. I think Robert Downey Jr. was such a perfect cast of that character yes. and how he's developed as an actor and like really turned his life around mm-hmm. and all that. Mm-hmm. Um, but of course, Black Panther. And then, um, would you just Civil War? I mm-hmm. love Civil, Civil War. Is my jam. Yeah, it's my jam. So damn. those are your favorite films. Yeah. What is the key thing? Uh, for my second question, what is the key thing you want to kind of see or hope to see in Endgame? I want to see how the torch is passed. I know that everything has changed for mm-hmm. forever. 
Mm-hmm. Right. And then where does that leave everything? And then what does it what comes next? That's the thing. What comes next? What do we do next? OK, that's what that's what I'm interested to see, because no matter what happens, I feel like we're going to lose people. Mm-hmm. I feel like we're going to gain people. I feel yeah. like some amazing things are going to happen. Some things we've never seen before. Yeah. But where does that leave us after after this? And I just I just want to I want to I want to have my cry. I want to I <laughs> whoever we're losing. I just want to have a good hearty like. Yeah. Just give them a good death. <laughs> yeah, CC, same question. Well, um, I'm just hoping for our Wakanda fan, but somebody was saying yeah, that. Oh, and then, I act oh, on the podcast I did last week. Shout yeah. out to those guys over there. Right. They were saying that they got to bring Black Panda back because Marvel just oh, wants to make another billion dollars really, really um, bad. You got to bring him back. Um, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I don't, I'm just, like you said, I'm looking forward to seeing how they close it out. Um, it's like the end of an era. Like even mm-hmm. with it going on to the next chapter, like it really is. And it's been kind of an honor and a privilege to like be alive yeah. and cognizant and conscious of all these different things as the yeah. movies have come out. And I've really like, to an extent, grown up with it. Like my entire adult life, yeah. I don't really know anything, yeah. you know, before. Right. And so it's like, okay, whoa, yeah. Yeah, this helped carry me through. I was yeah, dark right. yeah, it really did help. help get through. Yeah. What about you, man? Right what, what do you? Oh uh, man, uh, I'm with you on Avengers, um, but uh, I would say Avengers and Black Panther have a, is a tie. As, as, yeah, okay. As, as a POC, Black Panther was everything. Mm. Yeah, and then just Absolutely. to see that first Avengers scene, all that culmination of the previous films to have all our characters finally all together, that was amazing. Yeah, and so, do it well and well. Yeah, yeah. well done. Um, and then for the film, I, I, I it's kind of hard to pinpoint one thing, just seeing how this all wraps up to then take us into the next. Uh, stage of the cinematic universe. Uh, but I have one more question, but I'm actually going to save that for our review because uh, oh, we, we've got a whole thing there. So we got so a cliffhanger! Cliffhanger! He snapped on us. And now we got on y'all bitches. I don't feel so good. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's close it up because we got to get ready for Endgame. Yeah. 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 The next uh, Game of Thrones, and you're gonna want to check out a recap Speaking of episode of two, yeah. and then we're gonna have to do the. It's good. Game of Thrones is, is so much is life so right much, now. So much good shit going so on. Much. Yeah. Just subscribe. Just watch, yeah. just click down there because it's all yeah. good stuff. Yeah. So let's sign off, man. So we can get to that Game well, of Thrones. I am Glenn Lawrence, uh, Level Up Comedy. Go check that out. Yeah, CC the Geek, CEO of HBCU Con. Woo! Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I could use the title. I guess. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey, hey, Patrick, CEO. Of W. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. And Crossland. Former Wakama Con representative. Yes, that's anyway, right. You know, show that love. That's right. All right, my man Marianne behind the camera, as always, we love you, girl. Um, and our W, make sure you scrap all of that. Squad. Squad. Gang, gang. Scrap. And gang. And gang. And gang, gang. And gang, gang. gang, gang. And gang, gang. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Rolling, rolling, sound, speed. You bring it in this time. Action.